When we're talking about critical thinking in the literature review, uh, in general, these are some things that uh, could be a part of that. Um, you could be looking at the strengths and weaknesses or limitations of the literature. You could be looking at points of convergence and divergence, uh, looking at contradictory findings or arguments. You could be looking at uh, and identifying gaps in the research, uh, whether there's just no research at all uh, or whether the research is, is just sort of thin. Uh, and you can do all of this at levels of theory, concept, method of data collection, method of data analysis, findings, uh, etc. Dr. Andrew uh, Baker here, um, who I've cited at the bottom there, um, talks about sort of two different levels of critical thinking. So um, he, he describes them as critical thinking and creative thinking, but uh, you might think of them as, you know, critical thinking and then sort of higher order uh, critical thinking in a way. Uh, and he says that thinking critically about a matter is to analyze a question, situation, or problem down to its most basic parts. Uh, and critical thinking helps us to evaluate the accuracy and truthfulness of statements, claims, and information we read and hear. We use this ability every day. Um, for example, when considering consumer products, is a product a quality product because we can think about these questions, a celebrity endorses it, a lot of other people may have used it, it is, it is made by one company versus another, or it's made in one country versus another. So these are questions that we might ask ourselves in an everyday scenario, we probably do, uh, and these questions are representative of critical thinking. So something we do, you know, day by day in our everyday lives. The academic setting demands more of us in terms of critical thinking than everyday life. It demands that we evaluate information and analyze a myriad of issues. It is the environment where our critical thinking skills can be the difference between success and failure. So we must ask questions such as, what is this source of information? Is this source an expert one and what makes it so? Are there multiple perspectives to consider on an issue? Do multiple sources agree or disagree on an issue? Does quality research substantiate information or opinion? And do I have any personal biases that affect my consideration of this information? Now, while critical thinking analyzes information and roots out the true nature and facts of problems, it is creative thinking, so that's what he's, he's referring to this as creative thinking, sort of this higher order uh, critical thinking, uh, that drives progress forward when it comes to solving these problems. Creative thinking skills ask questions such as, what if, why not, what else is out there? Can I combine perspectives or solutions? So there's the kind of creative uh, creativity there. What is something no one else has brought up? What is being forgotten, ignored? What about X or blank? So you can consider an assignment that requires you to compare two different authors on the topic of, just for example, education, uh, and select and defend one as better. Now, uh, add to this scenario that your professor clearly prefers one author over the other. So critical thinking can get you as far as identifying similarities and differences between these authors and evaluating their merits. And creative thinking is what you must use if you wish to challenge your professor's opinion and invent new perspectives on the authors that have not previously been considered. So we can think of a literature review uh, you know, as something similar to the assignment described just there, uh, but where the discussion encompasses substantially more than just two authors you're dealing with, you know, 10, 20, who knows how many authors. Um, but coming up with a fresh take on, on what exactly, you know, the sum of the knowledge is uh, that's being expressed uh, by, by all of those, all that, all that research. Um, so an excellent literature review uh, is going to involve a discussion that engages with the literature both critically uh, and creatively in, in the terms of, uh, of, uh, of, of Dr. Baker there. 